Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm going to play with dandelions and bees today. It just makes me happy. So I've got several photos, uh, reference photos linked in this video's description. Here's the one I think I'm going to play mostly off of, but probably have bigger dandelions. But I like the dark background. I like, I like the little bits of yellow. Whoops, I just closed it. Come on, iPad. There's another one, which is really fun. You can see the dandelions better. There's a look at some dandelions up close. See, I like this one because I like to do a lot of tall grasses, if you guys have been following me. And then what actual dandelions that are yellow look like. So lots of reference photos to play off of. I'm going to paint on a 5 inch by 7 inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I've put two coats of clear gesso on it. You could mix paint in with the clear gesso or use white gesso, black gesso, whatever you want. Isn't that fun? I like that they're an inch and a half thick. And then Amazon delivered today some new Princeton brushes. And I'm going to try to paint with a mop brush. I've never painted a background with a mop brush. I pretty much use a mop brush for putting on varnish or like a gel gloss layer. So I'm excited to try that. Plus, I like all the little brushes it came with. And then maybe if it works out, it won't be in this video, but it might make a cute ornament in case you're thinking about something like that. Okay, that's quite a setup. Let's have some fun. You guys, I already messed up. <laughs> I was so excited to start. So normally I would take a piece of chalk pastel and write the word love on it because I just like doing that, but I, I totally forgot. So this was fun. Um, um, <laughs> it's like a big filbert. That's why I'm doing this, but it's also softer. It has a lot more here. Let's find, oh gosh. Oh, this is Royal and Langnickel. This one's Princeton. But this is stiffer. You can't feel it. I don't know if you can see it because this is wet. This has a little more flop. But what I liked is it it will it'll hold more paint, which might be helpful, especially on a little bit bigger canvas. And I think it's a little softer. But I need to use it some more to figure it out. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch mop brush from Princeton Select. Oh, it says oval mop. If I get it close and you guys can see it, it'll focus. So I really like that. Um, my, let's set the table. My colors are Mars Black. They're all going to be Liquitex. Titanium White. A Thalo Blue. Oh no, Cad Yellow. I need to put out some more Cad Yellow. I buy it in the jar of the bigger tubes quite a bit because I go through a lot more yellow. It usually takes more yellow than the other color to mix because it's not as uh, strong of a pigment. That's a mix. I put out some quinacridone magenta. I probably should have waited because I, I will maybe only need it for some oranges for both some dandelions and the bees. But I put out quinacridone magenta. And thalo, oh here, let's grab the other. I've got a new one. Thalo blue green shade. Use any blue you have. I like phthalo blue. Um, you can use an ultramarine, whatever you have, cobalt. And I think that's pretty much it. I drew a line, oh, about two and a quarter down with a small T-square and painted. I really like how simple this is. Kind of get a hint of dark green something off in the background. This could be a little dandelion or just could be overthinking it. A lot of times it gets cooler as you go back, but I think we'll be fine. Here, where's our reference photo? This one kind of does. There's almost like a little cooler green and a dip in there, but I think we're totally fine. What else? I think that sets the table. I dried it with a hair dryer. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to go. I think next I'm going to here. We could do a little bit of this. Oh, I'm also kind of excited to play with 
some Deerfoot Stiplers. I'm thinking I used these when I did the, the hen and the dandelion painting I, not too long ago, maybe a month ago. I'll link it in this video's description. So these are Artist Loft Deerfoot Stiplers. This one's a 3 8, three eighths inch <laughs> and this one's a quarter inch. I'm laughing because I'm so excited I can't talk. You could use anything. You could use any brush. You just, I'm just going to stamp with them. You could probably use a small makeup brush. Actually, maybe I did that. That would make great dandelions too. Okay, so maybe we'll just draw on a couple. Actually, it might be kind of fun. So this is sort of on a third. I ended up pulling the light over, but I like to do things on the third. So maybe we'll have a, like a puff right there. And maybe, oh, I don't know. I'm looking at the reference photo. Maybe kind of like a bigger puff. If you've been following me for a while, I'll tend to have things looking into my painting. And my puffs are probably going to grow. Oh, this is a white charcoal pencil from Generals. I think I'll think about this off camera so I don't feel like I have to entertain you. I'll be back in a bit. Just popping in for a second here. I use this small Deerfoot stippler. It's a quarter inch. And I took some straight up cad yellow and just very lightly put in some hints of dandelions off in the background. I may end up covering them up. I'm already starting to cover them up because I've got a dandelion there and there. I could. <laughs> Nothing came off hardly. I don't know. If, oh, actually it was this color. Oh, I kind of like sh shifting the color a little bit though, making it darker. I think I'll just, I'm going to stop because I can just totally overdo this. Um, I also use this Deerfoot stippler. So I've got kind of a light green, greenish color there. And I'm putting in hints of puffed dandelions. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. I started putting in some stems because they go underneath the dandelion puffs. But I think I'm going to start. I, well, I, oh, and then I'm also, I used for the stems this quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. I've worn off the name. And I, I'm going to put in some weeds too. I could start putting in either the dandelions Maybe I'll just start putting in a couple. They're all dandelions, but some of the the ones that are flowered but not gone to seed yet. So I use this uh, yellow with a little bit of white because it'll cover better. And then I can come back with a different value. I kind of like that. Just kind of leave it a little messy. And this one I was thinking was going up. I'll just kind of stamp it. Oh, I've got one here and here. I think I only had three. I've got four. I think that's fine. I can always add in another one. I like to do odds. Oops, that was fat.
wonder if I need a little more white. It's not covering very well. Can always come back with some yellow. And they have a lot more petals than this, but you don't have to paint in every petal. I'm saying that to you as much as I am saying that to me. <laughs> keep that in mind as I keep fussing with it. Oh, I had a, I was looking at the reference photo, one of my reference photos for this one, I don't remember. I think it was kind of like this. really going to show. It's so relaxing just to kind of swipe. I was, really, it's too soon for the orange. But I'm going to put a little in here just to help me. You really can't see the brush strokes there. Help me remember. And now that I've got orange in my brush, we could put a little. Okay, should we do a couple of dandelion puffs in real time? Clean up my brush. If I don't do it, I forget. So I put out some um, matte medium because I was going to make these more transparent with the white and then I ended up mixing just kind of a green. So I don't know if I'm even going to use the matte medium. Since my dandelions aren't that big, I think I'm going to stick with this quarter inch instead of this three eighths inch. Ooh, pardon me. Okay. So I'm just trying to get a little bit on the ends. I've probably pushed some in, pushed some in there already into the bristles. I'm gonna wipe some off on a paper towel. Try this again. Okay. This is, will be hard to control. So I'm gonna rotate my brush because it's actually not stamping like I thought it would. I wonder if I've mushed my brush too much with too much paint. There, that looks a little better. Try to get the fan out. Can always come back with a with more white and darker layer. Just kind of pouncing. Here. So I can get my brush straight up and not hit my phone. <laughs> Oh, I didn't turn my brush. I started seeing the pattern. I think that's just fun. Uh, I think I've got my, I keep thinking more paint's gonna help me. Maybe another layer is gonna help me. And if I lose my center and I want it back, you can just paint it back in and then paint Paint another puff. Just dip a few bristles in it and you can add even wider. Ooh, got a big blob. I don't think we're gonna worry about it though. the gist of it. I'll be back in a bit.
I thought I'd paint the last B wings in real time. So this is mixing white and some uh, matte medium to make it more transparent. You could use water. And if it dries too dark, just put on another layer. So all I do is here, I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna connect it about at the head. So push down, lift up, and then just a little dot or something. Already making these a little brighter white. <laughs> this is fun. I used a um, half inch flat brush to get a couple bigger petals. There's one right there, there, and then there's one behind my signature. You could even use some more bigger petals, I think. I like painting grasses and weeds. The dandelions are really fun. I really enjoy those. Here, let's get a screenshot. So I ended up using a little bit of phthalo blue green shade. It's kind of muddied, but I really didn't need it. Otherwise, I didn't use it anywhere. My signature, some of the petals. That's about it. I like this sort of rusty pinky brown color. That's pretty. I keep sticking my hand in there for the screenshot. <laughs> it's not very helpful. Well, let me know if you give this one a try. Oh, I did paint the sides. Just simple. I put in a couple yellow dots for fun. Little bugs or something flying around. The bottom's just kind of messy. Really nothing on the top. I added some black here thinking to help the bees pop out more. I don't know if that works or not I need to photograph it kind of I need to look at it tomorrow I've been looking at it for quite a while let's see I started it about 2 30 worked on it we'll say for an hour hour and 15 minutes and then I started again after dinner oh gosh I might this might be a three hour painting I'm looking at my watch okay guys I'm still thinking about it. you can kind of tell by my tone of voice so fun to hang out with you i just love that you show your art with me in my annie tro art friends facebook group i love seeing what you guys are up to the comments are so much fun i love having old art friends and new art friends super appreciate your support great big happy art hugs and i hope to chat with you soon bye guys